Hi everyone, my name is Jenny. I'm a technician here at Pembroke and today I want to show you how to import employee records into Sage Payroll. So to import employee records into Sage Payroll you will need two files. The first file needs to be a CSV file and that is the file which you will populate your employee data in. And the second file needs to be an IMP file, um, IMP meaning import, and an IMP file can be created in Notepad. So we will need both files. I'm going to show you the two of them together today and um, I will demonstrate the import of the employees as well. So if I first open the employee.csv file here, um, it will open with Notepad. You can also open that, sorry, it will open with Excel, but you can also open that with Notepad if you so wish. I just have three employee records prepared here, um, but I have 16 fields that I want to import. Now you can choose whichever fields you want to import. And if you want to know which fields it can be imported, if you just open the employee record in Sage Payroll, technically speaking, any of the fields that you can see, you can import into. But um, it's usually the, the usual suspects of employee code, surname, first name, PPS number, address, contact details, um, start date, IBAN, BIC, um, that are generally imported. So you can design your own import and you can specify which fields you want to populate by using your CSV file. So I'm just going to close that there and bring back up my, C my CSV file. So let's just have a look at what I'm trying to import. So I've got employee code. So this would be the employees code in Sage Payroll. If you already have employees in Sage Payroll, you need to make sure that the codes that you're trying to import for the new employees are not already in use. Then we have first name, surname, RSI number, which is PPS number, email address, department code, air code, address one, two, three, four, start date and birth date, hourly rate one, email payslip, which is just yes or no, and then gender, M or F, male or female. The CSV file actually does not require the, headed, the headers. So I'm just going to highlight that row and delete that. It's not required. Save my CSV file just to update it and I'm going to close it. So once I have all my data prepared, um, I need to open my IMP file or create an IMP file to match up the columns in my CSV file. Um, so let's have a look what's in here. So this is a typical IMP file. We can help you with this part if you're not sure about this. Um, it's specifying what table to import into and um, that's going to be the employee table and this part here is specifying which fields um, I want to import in, into. So field 1 being column 1 in your Excel file and field 2 being column number 2 in the Excel file and field 3 being column number 3 in the Excel file and so on all the way down until 16. So I have 16 fields that I want to import into. In here, I also have to specify where my CSV file is. So I have to tell this file, um, you know, what I want to import and where the data resides. So this, when I call the import file from Sage Payroll, it's going to look here and it's going to bring in this file. So yeah, we can give you an IMP file or we can help you with this part or we can import your employees for you. So I'm just going to close that. Um, I have matched up my 16 columns with um, my in my IMP file, so I'm happy with those. I'm going to minimise that before you ever do any backup. You should any import rather. You should always do a backup. So if you click on backup and just type in your backup folder, um, or you can browse to where you want to backup. So I'm just going to click backup here. Never skip this bit because if you don't like what you see after the import, um, there's kind of no going back on unless you have a backup to restore to. So to actually import the data, we're going to click on miscellaneous data import and data import again. 
and I'm going to choose my employee IMP file. So remember the IMP file says what is going to be imported, so which fields are going to be imported to, um, where that resides in the CSV file, you know, field one, field two, field three, and also where the CSV file, which is the populated data file, is. So when I click open, the import should just happen. So we can see there we had a little flash up on screen of a green progress bar. That was the data importing. So when I click edit employees, I expect now to see three employees in my list. So previously there was none. So I have a first employee anyway. If I click this button, I'll get to see all of them. So yes, I have one, two and three employees. So I can choose and I can browse. So we can click across to browse. And yeah, those are my three employees, which I've imported by IMP file. So if you think you want to possibly import employees into Sage Payroll using an IMP file, you can contact us at Pinbrook and we can help you out with that. Thank you.